Hello guys, Susie God here and welcome to this little intro to the new game I will have on this channel from now on. I have thinking about the Get to Know Susie series and I think I will take a little break from it or have it that way that I will have one episode each month because it's very difficult to find themes that is interesting to talk about. It's not very interesting to talk about how was my week, how was it at work, how was the weekend. No, it's not that exciting, I think. So I want to have it like one episode each month or but for now on, I want a new game series on Wednesdays and it will be Sims, actually. And I have decided to try this um, story, Sims stories, that was released around the Sims 2 period or something like that. It has the Sims 2 graphics, but uh, for some reason they are so fun, even though they have the, the old graphics. but. It is the quest that is a bit interesting, actually. I had the medieval game, I think, yes. But for some reason, I didn't like it that much. I don't know. It was limited somehow. And I don't know. It was not so fun as I thought it would be. So we'll try again with the Sims stories, the Sims pet stories, and the castaway stories. Because I had... Or I have all the games on an older computer. So this can actually be pretty interesting because I will start recording from that computer. So I cross my fingers that it will work and it will not die. <laughs> because it's very old and it will maybe... I, I hope it will not overheat. I have some kind of table or... I don't know what to call it. It stand on a little table with fans or something so it will cool down with extra help <laughs> so we'll see how it goes i really hope it will go well because i'm really looking forward to start uh, the same stories game series somehow are we gonna start with the first one i have the cover of it but i do not have the cd so i got an electronic version of the game so this will be... Oh, it's a Norwegian. I will translate it, but this is the cover for the first game. Um, oh, there we go. It's shiny a bit. Um, the Sims Life Stories. And it's about... You have two person you can actually choose to play with. You have... Um, wait a minute. Do they have the same names in English and Norwegian? I'm not so sure. I will, I will check that when we get into the game, but... You can choose to be two persons or play with each story, that's better to say. And we will try both of them actually before we go to the next series or story. So I think we're gonna start with a girl and then with a boy, I don't know yet. <laughs> and let's see, I will try to read what it's about. Um, the girl, which in Norwegian it has the name Randi. <laughs> that sounds pretty weird. Um, she came back to her hometown to start a new life, a new friends, new boyfriend, uh, and a lot of surprises. I just translate the text here. Um, like, for example, meeting an old flame. Will that be right translating? Yeah, an old crush. There we go. Um, will it be a happy ending or will all end in tears? <laughs> and then we have Vigo. Wow, it sounds so weird in English to say the Norwegian names. Uh, he is a high-tech genius, like, um, let's see. But with even with all the hard work, he's not been that lucky to find his love or something like that. He struggled a lot with that. Um, uh, will he find someone that loves him for him than the money. So yeah, very special translation, but yeah, something like that. So Vigo here is looking for a 
girlfriend that will love him for him, not all the money he has. And Ra Randy, <laughs> Randy will meet an old crush and will it end happily or in tears? We will look through that. So, okay. I cross my fingers for that this computer can make it. We try. So we go over to the game. Alright guys, here we are in the menu and I'm still wondering if the music is a bit too loud and it was not very easy to set up everything for this particular video, but we will give it a try. I remember I showed you uh, the cover of this game and I can see now that the names are totally different in Norwegian and English. Her name in the English version is Riley, not Randy, and the other story is, let's see, uh, where is the name? Vincent, and in Norwegian it said Viggo, so the game developers has definitely translated it to sound better in different languages. But Vincent and Riley is way better to say in English than Randy and Viggo. <laughs> So, okay, um, we're gonna start with the Riley story because I saw that Vin the Vincent story is not unlocked yet. And I think that is because we have not played or start with the Riley story. So we need to start with that. So, okay, that's, that's fair enough. So, okay, Riley Harlow had been living in Sim City all her life until she lost her job. Oh gosh, poor thing. Uh, facing eviction, Riley turned to the one person she can count on, her aunt Sharon. Sharon had always been kind enough to help Riley out in a pinch. So Riley arranged to stay at her aunt's house in the suburb of Four Corners until she was back on her feet. So okay, that's kind of her aunt I have to say, so we're gonna try it out and hopefully I can lower the music a bit. I hope. Would you like to play a quick tutorial that teach you? No, we can or I can the basic movements with Sims, so I think we skip that. But if you want to do this, you can click yes. We click no for that. And the famous loading screen as we remember in Sims 2. The Harlow family. Luckily, there's not so much music in the gameplay. Hopefully. I hope it will load. <laughs> Ooh, a bit lag here with an old game. Well, I'm actually surprised how good it is for the moment. So it looks pretty good, but still, this is a big test for now. So I hope it will go well. Okay, we have got a welcome box over here. Welcome to Riley's story. Here you will play the story of Riley Harlow, who has just moved from SimCity to stay at her aunt Sharon's house. Uh, yes, continue. During the course of Riley's story, you will be given rewards by other Sims. These rewards will be located in your inventory, which is this one. Yup. Keep going. Don't forget your Sims basic needs to keep on top of things. Use the needs. Use the needs key, keyboard shortcuts. There we go. To keep your Sims happy. Um. Yeah. As you can see, there's no webcam here for the moment, and the reason for that is because my Mac do not have so much USB ports, so I need to figure out if I have to buy some kind of stuff that can make it possible. But at the same time, my Mac is pretty old, so I will not overdo the recordings. So that's why I, for now, only have my voice and the game. So we'll see if it's possible to have a webcam in the future. But we keep it this way for now, since it's a test and all. You can also move the camera using, yeah, that's pretty clear by using W, A, S, and D. And you also have 
dot is it dots or dot i don't know to rotate i think or do i mix it up with sims 3 and sims 4 yeah anyway <laughs> the family journal keeps track of all the story goals power ones and generational goals yeah generational goals that you have completed you can check the family journal by pressing f4 there we go press the escape key to open the help menu which shows all of the game commands to learn more about how to play the game select learn to play on the main menu all right Ooh, something happened Oh, here we have it. Go in once. And I see something is going down and something is going upwards. Cool. Yeah. Dot and comma or something like that is rotate and X. You can zoom out and set zoom in and A, S, D and W. Cool. Pretty cool. Oh, here it is. Or aunt maybe. Oh, let's see here. Here, here we go. It's so nice to see you again, Riley. I'm so happy you're going to be staying here. Remember, this is your home now, so feel free to poke, to poke around. Okay, thank you. Really nice of you. So, oh, now come here and give your auntie a big hug. Okay. Ooh, a big screen. We have a lot of reading, that's for sure. Welcome to Four Corners. Below you will find the story goal that needs to be completed for the story to continue. In this case, that goal is to hug Aunt Sharon. Once completed, you will see the icon flip to the next goal. Yeah. Feel free to click on the actual goal to find out more information and tips. And whoop, One more time. Out more information and tips on completing the goal. Have fun to hug Aunt Sharon. Yeah. We don't need to go into that. I will show it while I'm doing this though. Okay, so we need to hug our aunt. So we, oh, I'm gonna zoom it, zoom out a bit. We are gonna choose hug, pretty simple. <laughs> and friendly. Perfect. And now we have this uh what do you want to call this time glass that said that we need to wait for the next goal to come so there is some period in this game that we need to wait for the next goal so it can be a day it can be some few sims hours or something like that oh, they hug again. and of course you can see the graphics is oh, this seems two graphics so it's a big step back from what I play now, which is Sims 4, but I don't know, Sims 2 was the first game I started with. I really love Sims 2 because it was the beginning of everything, or the uh, beginning of my crazy addiction for Sims, so <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's a car is coming, why? Ooh, ooh, this computer is pretty warm already. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, so. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but I have to take care of something very urgent at the bank. Should be back before tonight. Remember, the house is yours. It's oh, oh, thank you. It's, awesome. it's so funny to hear them talk. <laughs> oh, we're gonna listen to some music. Oh, she didn't like that conversation. All right. Oh, salsa is her is her thing. But yeah, about that, I think I'm gonna lower the sound a bit, actually. Music even more down. All right. What is our next goal? I'm hungry. Uh, then we need to eat then. Oh, <laughs> look at that pink fridge. I will not have it myself but it's lovely okay and the floor as well mm, okay let's find us should we have a snack or breakfast oh it's 9 a.m so i think breakfast is the good thing 
uh, instant meal. No, that's microwave kind of food. And she will be, or she, that's not very, very healthy. There we go. So we go with toaster pastry, maybe. I hope she not set fire on anything. Oh, I haven't eaten a thing since the burger back in Pleasant View. I wonder what Aunt Sharon has in the fridge. In order to eat first, yeah. We don't need to explain how to go to the fridge and take out something to eat. I think that's pretty obvious, but I click on the fridge and show you basically what to do. So I don't read the whole text. But okay, I think that's pretty clear to end a certain action or what she's doing. Just click on this um, box over here with this uh, CD player or something inside and click on it. So it will have a big cross over it and she will stop doing it eventually. Yep, and she's going to eat. Ooh, it's a very big lot here actually. Fancy. Ooh, I can see we don't have any shadows, but that has actually been a problem for me with this game that the shadows is actually like a big um, box underneath the sim. So I think we just skip having shadows. <laughs> oh, please don't make any fire. <laughs> oh, she's getting some skill. Pretty tasty. <coughs> oh, next goal in or do oh we need to wait. Okay. Ooh. Now to get nope, I read on the wrong screen. <laughs> now to get out of these clothes. I have been wearing them since I left Sim City. Let's see what Aunt Sharon has in her wardrobe. Good thing we are the same size. Nice. I think we will do that. Oh. To change to different clothes, click on yeah. We will do that. But she can eat or finish eating first before we do anything. Yep. Good. Let's go over here and change into no, we need to plan outfit actually. Every day. Oh, that was a bit close. Alright, let's see what we can have on our sim here. Oh, that was cute. But it is summer here in Norway, so I think I want to choose something that's a bit more summer-like. We try that. Wasn't oh, just oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought for a minute that we chose the wrong thing, but no. But okay, I think we have already used a lot of time until this part of the game, or until now. Um, this, like I said, is, is a test round for the upcoming episodes. So if there's any lag here and there, sorry about that. But it is because I recorded this on a very old computer and everything is new and all that. So I think we end this video here now with Riley here in new clothes and everything. And she has eaten breakfast just now. She's way more happier than she was when she came. We also met our aunt, so this is going to be pretty funny to see how it develop or how this story will develop in the future. Um, I have been thinking on having sims in general on my channel, but I'm probably bad at making stories without quest that is helping me. So having this game with quest is maybe a good beginning and maybe eventually I will have the normal sims games on the channel too, but we will see. 
you will see. So let me know uh, what do you think about this game series? Do you looking forward to see more? And what do you think about this game in uh, general? Do you have heard about it? Have you played it before? Let me know in comments below. I'm really looking forward to continue this game series and I hope it will be pretty fun in the future and hopefully we will then continue with pet stories and castaway stories as well. So give a thumbs up if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and I see you in the next episode. Bye!